Hovering above East Antarctica, a team of scientists drop a probe into the icy waters below. Its purpose? To test the temperature. While a lot is known about the impact that warm water has in West Antarctica, the East remains a bit of a mystery. Over six days, dozens of probes were dropped into the cracks in the ice. The data fed back to scientists was that warm water is melting the Totten Glacier, the largest in East Antarctica, from below. If it melts, it could mean an eventual sea level rise of three and a half metres. The release of this research is timely. In July, scientists warned that sea ice hadn't returned to its usual winter levels. Today came confirmation low sea ice will be the new normal. This new report is the first time we've been able to definitively link ocean warming with sea ice changes. As sea ice freezes in winter and melts in summer, it pumps vital nutrients into the ocean. It's like a heartbeat for the ocean. But what we've seen lately is a, is a marked change in that cycle. Animals reliant on sea ice for breeding are already being impacted, and the loss of sea ice could see the global ocean warm even more rapidly. Dr Doddridge says while we can't rule out a natural cause for these changes, there is something we can control. Really the only thing we can do is reduce our fossil fuel usage and greenhouse gas emissions. Chilling predictions of a warmer future. Clancy Barlin, ABC News.